Little fifth graders. In language arts, we will be discussing conjunctions. If you remember, we talked about conjunctions a little bit when we discussed compound sentences. Well, we're going to be talking a little bit about that and other types of conjunctions as well. Conjunctions are used to connect words or phrases. Conjunctions are used in compound sentences and compound complex sentences. For example, number one, Ben can chew gum and juggle or oranges at the same time. Of course, and is the conjunction. He tried blowing a bubble once, but it made him drop the oranges. Of course, in that sentence, which is a compound sentence, but is the conjunction. Number three, whenever he practices, he buys new oranges. Uh, whenever, of course, is a joining word, uh, but it can be considered a type of conjunction. Find the conjunction. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. What is the conjunction in that sentence? Say it out loud. Good. And. Number two. Do you want to go to, I'm sorry, do you want to go or stay home? What is the conjunction in that sentence? Say it out loud. Excellent. Or. And number three. She jumped and tumbled on the trampoline. What is the conjunction in that sentence? Say it out loud. Excellent. And. And number four, grapes are purple or green. What is the conjunction in that sentence? Say it out loud. Or is the conjunction. Very good. Now, a new type of conjunction, correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions always travel in pairs. They join parts of sentences that should be treated equally. Common correlative conjunctions are both and, not only, but also, not, but, either, or, neither, nor, whether, or, as, as, just as, so too. So that is eight sets of correlative conjunctions there. For example, number one. Cindy wants neither pizza nor pasta for dinner. So there, the correlative conjunctions are neither nor. You see, they travel in pairs. You're going to have two each time. Number two, not only does she put up a fuss about dinner, but also about what to wear to school. So there you have not only, but also. Also should be underlined there as well. You see, correlative conjunctions, they travel in pairs. There'll be two each time. Number three, whether she likes it or not, she will have to make a decision. So whether or is the correlative conjunction there. So let's try it. You tell me the correlative conjunctions in each sentence. Both my sister and I will attend the party. What is the correlative conjunctions? Say it out loud. Excellent. Both and. Number two. I can't decide whether I should take French next year or take Spanish. What are the correlative conjunctions in that sentence? Say it out loud. Wonder bar. Whether or. Number three. When building Hoover Dam. Laborers not only discovered silver, but also gold. What are the correlative conjunctions in that sentence? Say it out loud. Not bad at all. Not only, but also are the correlative conjunctions. And last but not least, put your earnings either in a bank or in a treasury account. What are the correlative conjunctions there? Say it out loud. Good. Either or is a correlative conjunction. Last but not least.
He's got a flip phone. Have a nice day. So there you have it, little fifth graders. Correlative conjunctions. Don't forget. Pain is the name of the game, baby. Woo!